piece in the show is called Princesses. As a native, I hear this term that, oh, my great-grandmother was an Indian princess. So I took that literally, and I'm making a whirly gig. So mine is a piece where the wind turns the, the windmill, there's a native princess, and you can tell by her elk tooth dress, her tiara, and she's waving to you as you see the, the let's say, the Queen of England does. She does this a lot. Now, my traditional work, I'm a potter, and so the native uh, influence is always there. I, uh, I use native motifs. I use the buffalo, I use deer, I use uh, dancers, uh, birds, dragonflies. So you see the theme all across my work, but it's not really a stereotype unless you just want us to put us all together into one group and say that is a stereotype. When I first started out to be a potter, I didn't really, really realize I was going to be a potter. I started uh, looking at Japanese pottery, uh, Korean pottery, um, Chinese pottery, looking at uh, that style. I like the influences that they, they uh, have on their pieces. There's nothing in pottery that hasn't been done before. Um, so all I am doing is doing the shapes and the sizes in my own image as far as what I see. I, I take those traditional shapes that potters uh, long ago did, even native potters did long ago, and just give them my little touch to them and um, Hopefully they work out. I've been real happy with them here lately. Oh, I haven't seen what other people are doing for the show, and I hope it is a, a, a little tongue-in-cheek. Uh, that's how I took it, so I hope there was a little tongue-in-cheek with some of the other artists. Some, you know, some of us can get a little, can get a little uh, over the top and be uh, overthink things, so I try not to overthink.